Come on, Dave. Give me ten more crunches. Come on. I can't. I just can't. Don't you give up on me, Flabby. Come on. Do you end each session with your personal trainer feeling traumatized? Please, just let me rest. Yeah, don't you dare, jellyfish boy. Come on. Then maybe it's time to try low self-esteem personal trainers. Um, hi, hi Dave. Uh, would, would you mind just doing, like, ten more crunches? I, I don't think I can. Oh, oh, God, of course not. Like, oh, my God. I'm so sorry I even asked. Like, I'm so stupid. Um, you, can, I, can I get you, like, a juice or something? Um, maybe a chocolate muffin? Oh, yeah, of course, of course. You just, just rest. Just oh, rest. Great, thanks. Every low self-esteem personal trainer comes with emotional baggage that renders them friendly and accommodating. Maybe too accommodating, but they're working on it. And while they work on it, they're ready to work with you. Um, hi, hi Dave. Uh, do, you want, do you want to try the treadmill again? Like, maybe in a low setting? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, and you don't know, no, I can tell this was the wrong time to ask. I am, I am so sorry. I'm such an idiot. Hey, hey, hey don't beat yourself up. Here, have a chocolate muffin. I, I shouldn't. Okay. Yeah. Try one today. And coming soon, low self-esteem pet care and low self-esteem landlords. Hey. Um, Dave, uh, hi. Uh, so, um, can, I, can I have the rent? Ooh, sorry, I, I used my rent money for a vacation to Cancun. Oh, wow, yeah, um, you know, totally fine. Totally, you, know, you look great, great tan, love it. Thanks. I'm just, I'll come back next year. Call today, or don't. Sorry we brought it up. Low self-esteem trainers, that's a good idea. That's a good idea.